anxiety was one of the first uh, emotions that I learned, a feeling of not being secure. When I was young, I, I often had difficulty um, believing in myself and feeling confident in, in certain things. And I think that I had to really find it. I remember feeling that as always, as, as um, like a young kid, around the time when I lost my mom um, at, at, at age four. The way that I dealt with anxiety or, or you know, lo losing my mom was not holding that sadness in, which I think was my like instinctual response. Letting it out, right, was really helpful, like actually talking to people about it. And I actually did develop humor, I think, as some sort of defense mechanism. It made me appreciate, like, making people feel joy. When I was a teenager, I, I battled a lot with depression, for sure. I had a lot of issues with self-esteem. I had a lot of issues with just feeling normal. Maybe there's still aspects of that, but I think it was, it was heightened then. I'm generally, like, a very nervous person, a whole nervous cutting people off and just a lot of awkward hand motions and things like that. I don't know, like maybe like, maybe like I'll just yell, you know, at a pigeon. <laughs> I got Christmas money one year and I went and got myself, it was a new invention, it was called a water bra. It was really cool actually, it, they had just come out, it was like a thing. And so I saved up for one and I wore it. I went, I was at my friend's house with all these people and they were like, there's something on your shirt and I was like, oh, what is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone came on over to investigate. My, my left water bra thing broke open and was essentially spraying everywhere at this party. So many people had gotten involved in like trying to identify <laughs> where the liquid was coming from. <laughs> if some, I think if something embarrassing or something like humiliating happens to you and then you, you have to then face it, it's better to always like breathe, you know, like take a minute first. Coming into this industry, it, it, um, it happened really fast, and, and I think that on the way, I felt I shouldn't be here, right? Like, this shouldn't have happened to me. It's, it's something that, that I, I still feel sometimes, but that I also know that um, I worked, too, you know? So, that helps. Social media definitely gives me anxiety, especially when I was um, first coming up. The comments, I really couldn't really deal with it. Everyone around me where it was just like, dude, don't listen to them. That's like, that's like a very generic advice, you know? That's like when you break up with your boyfriend and they're like, dude, forget him. It's fine. Being like so vulnerable to so many people that they're commenting from everything to like your nose, to your teeth, to your hands. You can't help but like feel hurt by like, random strangers attacking me on the internet. I think the ways that I dealt with it were definitely um, to just not look because what's, what's toxic stays toxic and it, when you bring that toxicity into your environment, it not only affects you, but it affects everyone around you. Instead of using social media to like tear people down, use social media to like tell your favorite musician how much you love them or, you know, watch a good movie sh and share about how good that movie was. Um, I think that it's really natural for uh, you people to doubt themselves and to feel insecure, inadequate, all that. That's, that's all natural, that's human. It's not something that's wrong with you. Eventually you'll find happiness. Don't worry too much, that's all. Because I don't think, um, we, I, I didn't think that it would ever work out, but things do work out. What you have to know is that like, it actually, it does come together. Like, it, it really does.